everyone, welcome back to another Space Engineer scripting tutorial. So in this one here, we're going to learn a couple of things. We're going to learn about loops and we're going to learn about how to change colors in something such as a light. So let's just show what this here does. As you see, if we pass the center here, this here light changes color. So for something very handy if you have one interior light and you just want to change the color instead of having two interior lights with the old method where you would just have two uh, lights set up to one sensor, one turned off and the other turned on. But in this here, we can show that the one light is changing color. So let's get straight into the code of it. Now, this one here, not that big, not that scary to look at. It is very, very simple on how it works. So first things first, because it is a loop, you need to tell it that uh, the update frequency of the loop is going to be 10 ticks. So the game runs in ticks. There is 60 ticks per second in the game. So what you're going to do is every 10 ticks, you're going to run this here script. Now you can run it one, you can run it every tick, which is just the one. You can run it every 10 ticks and you can run it every 100 ticks. Unfortunately, you can't change that in specific such as 60, 70, etc. It has to be either 1, 10 or 100. And I advise anybody, if you're setting up ticks, to set it to 10. Uh, because one, it's, it's going to update that many times that it will start to take down the performance. And if you have a huge script, it is going to have a massive effect. Now. Let's get into the main part. So this is your actual loop and this is the void main string argument. So what we're going to do here is we're looking for the block called zone sensor. Now if we go over to this here and we look at the interface, it's called zone sensor. That is the name of that sensor block. And then that one there is called zone interior light. So let's get back into the code. So what we were are doing is with the interface here, so the interface is I my sensor block. We're calling it zone sensor. This is, so this is the variable equals, and then f you're telling Space Engineer to find that block called zone sensor. So this is the the name of it here. Now remember, this is your variable that can be ant you want, but this this has to be the name of the block that you've called it. So this has to be zone sensor, and then your variable is down here. Second thing as well, it pretty much follows the exact line up here, except you're just looking for the interior light, so that's your interface, I, my interior light, and then the variable name, and then equals, and then your time space, space integers where to find that, and again, that is the name of your block. This is it here. And then down here in the logic, this is just your simple if else statement, so you're telling it, if the zone sensor, so that's your zone sensor up here, that's the name of their zone sensor, and your zone sensor here, is active now this is your um fields or your actions if you like but this is pretty much ten um it's asking the block is it active so whenever you walk into it you hear that know that noise that noise there that's pretty much saying that it's active so if it's active so with that's true so if it's true uh, you want to change the color to red now remember this is r g b red green and blue and you change the values from 0 to 255, 255 being the max, you can't change that and above that, it has to be either 0 or 255. Uh, and the handy thing as well is you can go online and you can look up pretty much any RGB palette and you pick whatever colour you like, it'll spit out the three values of it and then you just put it in here and you can have any colour you like. So what you're doing is you're telling the zone interior light, which is this here, or the variable name here, so this is your variable and you're saying the zone interior light dot and then the colour. So the color, that's the property of it, the field, equals, and then you're saying new, and then the color, and the color, and then inside brackets, brackets you have 255, 0, and 0, so it's just red. And then down here is the else statement, so if it's not active, so this is as like default, that's its normal value, if nobody's in it, it's going to be green. And we can see that the 0, because there's no red, there is green, and there's no blue, so it's going to be just green. And so that's zone interior light dot color equals new space and then color and inside your brackets is the values that you have inside here so let's go okay and let's uh, run that and walk into it and we can see there that it's gone red now say for example you want that to be let's say yellow so let's do a wee bit of changing so we wanted that if we walk into it instead of being red we want it to be yellow so we're going to change that there to 255 so that's going to be red and green panels are going to be on to compile, recompile, run, and we walk into it, and now it's gone yellow. Say we want it to go blue, if we uh, walk outside it, so it's just going to go blue, 
change this here to zero and change this here to the blue value to 255. Recompile and run and we walk into it and see the way there it is default blue. Now I don't like how dark that is so we're going to change it up a wee bit. So we're going to edit and we're going to brighten up the blue color a bit. So to, in order to brighten it a wee bit you do have to add a wee bit of green to it. So we're going to change that to say uh, I'd say about 100 will do. So we're going to add a wee bit of green to it. That's going to brighten it up and let's give it a bit of red. Maybe about 50 and that'll give it a wee bit of a tone to it. So run and there's there it's brightened up a wee bit it's a lot better so there you go and that is how you change the color of a light using a sensor block so we've covered three things in this here tutorial we've covered loops we've covered sensor blocks and we've covered interior lights now i will go in bit depth into future episodes on how the sensor block and all the different functions we can have with it as well as the interior block uh, sorry as well as the uh, interior light Block, because there is quite a lot of properties to them but this here tutorial was pretty much just for loops now all those codes um, as well as the scripts and everything else can be found on my website so you can copy and paste them uh, directly into your game uh, also fo follow the discord channel as well that is linked in the description if you want to have any specific scripts or any, any scenarios that you've had and you, you don't know how to set it up do put it in there and I will read it and try and make a video for it but other than that thanks again for watching see you in the next one I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators you helped make these videos possible